Welcome back to the Web3 IP Lawyer channel. I'm your host, the Web3 IP Lawyer. In today's video, we delve into the topic of mandatory deposit for the Library of Congress. Understanding the requirements and exemptions for depositing copies or phonorecords is crucial for copyright owners. Join us as we explore the categories of works exempt from mandatory deposit, the concept of the best edition, and the number of copies required. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Let's get started. Background the Library of Congress requires the mandatory deposit of copies or phonorecords for certain works, ensuring the preservation of copyright material. However, there are exemptions for specific categories of works, such as unpublished works, online-only publications, foreign works not published in the United States, and works falling outside the library's collecting priorities. Best Edition and Determining the Best Edition The Best Edition refers to the edition published in the United States that the Library of Congress deems most suitable for its purposes. If multiple editions of the same work exist, the owner is responsible for determining the best edition. The Copyright Office may request a different edition if it determines a better one exists. For guidance on determining the best edition, refer to Circular 7B and Appendix B of the Copyright Office's regulations. Complete copy requirements for different works. Different types of works have specific requirements for a copy to be considered complete under mandatory deposit. For example, sound recordings. A complete copy includes the phonorecord and any visually perceptible material published with it, such as record sleeves or booklets. Motion pictures. A complete copy must include clean, undamaged reproductions of all visual and oral elements, free of defects that would interfere with playback or distort the work. Electronic works, generally exempt from mandatory deposit, except for electronic-only books and serials explicitly demanded by the Copyright Office. Such works must include all elements constituting the published form, including metadata and formatting codes. Number of copies. In most cases, the owner must deposit two complete copies or phonorecords of the best edition. However, there are exceptions for specific works, such as motion pictures, limited edition visual arts works, computer programs, and published multimedia kits. Penalties and special relief. Failure to comply with the mandatory deposit requirement may result in fines and the cost of acquiring the demanded works. However, the Copyright Office may grant special relief in cases of undue burden or cost to the copyright owner. In conclusion, understanding the mandatory deposit requirements for the Library of Congress is vital for copyright owners. By depositing copies or phone records, creators contribute to the preservation of their works. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay informed, stay curious, and keep exploring the fascinating world of NFTs and IP law with us at the Web3 IP Lawyer channel. Thank you and see you next time.